Hey, what's up everyone? It's Bald Guy Ace, and today I'm going to show you how to get started on Grotopia and get your first world lock, which is basically Grotopia's version of money. If you're already a pro on Grotopia, it would be awesome if you could show this video to your friends who are new to the game. That way they can get started easier. So when you first start the game, you won't have a Grow ID, so you can pick any name for now. I'm going to start a new character named Bald Guy New, so that way I have a fresh character for this video. Soon after you start, I would highly recommend getting a Grow ID by going into the menu and clicking Get Grow ID. This will allow you to choose a permanent and unique username for your character. It will also allow you to log in from both your computer and your phone. So when you first join the game, you'll be in a tutorial world. Feel free to check it out if you want, and when you're done, go into the menu and click Exit World. The game may show you the rules and news screens. If it does, you can read them and then click Accept on the rule screen and OK on the bottom of the news screen. Then you want to go into a world that no one would have already been to yet, that way it'll be blank. We aren't going to keep this world, so it doesn't matter what you pick. I'm just going to type Dirt World, followed by a ton of random numbers, that way I know that nobody picked it. Alright, so this world is blank. Now the first thing you want to do is get 50 gems so that you can buy a small lock. If you're on Grotopia on your phone, you can quickly get 50 gems by going into the shop by clicking on the red gem on the right side of your screen and then clicking watch videos to earn gems and watching a few ads. But I'm going to assume for this video that you don't want to do that. So for us to get our first 50 gems, we're going to break dirt blocks and then the cave background that's behind the dirt. So highlight the punch icon and click down one row. Then you can hold the punch button down and walk all the way to the left or all the way to the right until you reach the end of the world. Once you do that, you can turn around and break more blocks in the other direction. Once you get around 30 of each seed, you can plant dirt and cave background seeds on the ground, wait about 30 seconds for them to grow, and then harvest the trees by punching them. After this, you can repeat the process of breaking dirt blocks and planting seeds until you have 50 gems. Once you have those 50 gems, you can go into the shop by clicking on the red gem on the right side of your screen, then click locks and stuff, and then click and buy the small lock. Now before we leave this world and head into what will be our main farming world, we want to plant two dirt seeds. And then on top of each of those seeds, we want to plant two cave background seeds. Planting one seed on top of another is called splicing, and it causes a different type of tree to grow. In this case, splicing dirt and cave background seeds creates a door tree. Wait for the two door trees to grow and then harvest them. Now we're ready to leave this world and go into a more permanent farming world. So either go into the menu and click on exit world or simply hit the punch button while standing in front of the white door in order to leave the world. You can then choose any world you want to go to, but it has to be a blank world. I recommend trying to choose the name of your character as your world, or maybe the name of your character followed by the word farm. Anything works as long as you can remember it. Once you're in your new world, you want to lock the entrance with the small lock that you just purchased. So what you want to do is build dirt all around the white door, but leave one space on top of the white door and one space next to the white door. Then you want to place the small lock just above the white door, and then place the door that you just got in your inventory next to the white door. After this, click your punch icon so that it turns into a wrench, and then click on the small lock. Check the box on the small lock that says ignore empty air, and then press reapply lock. The outline should now go around the dirt and the door you just placed. This means that no one else can build or destroy those blocks and get into your world. Now you just need a way out of the area that you just built. So temporarily break the dirt block that's next to the door you placed and then place another door a couple of spaces outside of the area. Now make sure the wrench is selected and click the new door that you just placed. You want to be able to travel between the two doors you placed. So where it says target world, type a colon, which means you're traveling within the same world, followed by the ID that you want to call the door that's inside the dirt walls. I chose bald guy one, and then I called the outside door bald guy two, which I put in the ID field. I then click the wrench that's on the door inside the wall and type colon bald guy two on the target world section. And under the ID, I type bald guy one. It's important that you uncheck the option that says is open to public so that no one else who enters your world can use your door. If you edited your two doors correctly, you should be able to punch while standing in front of one of the doors and it will travel you to the next door. Then if you punch again, it will travel you back to the other door. So now if this worked, place a dirt block back down where you just previously destroyed the dirt block. That way you're still securing the main entrance to your world. Now you have a world entrance that's securely locked so that no one can come into your world and start breaking any of your stuff. Also for this demonstration, I chose easy door IDs so that I could explain it well. But when you make a door ID, you always want to choose door IDs that would be hard for other players to guess. Because if they're able to guess your door ID, they can actually travel to your door and sneak into your world. 
Now that we have the world entrance secured, it's time to start farming grass for your first world lock. In order to make grass, you need to splice a dirt seed with a rock seed. I'm sure you already have plenty of dirt seeds, but you may still need to collect some rock seeds. So punch down into your world until you find some rocks and break them. Keep finding and breaking rocks until you have at least two rock seeds. After you get your two rock seeds, if you're stuck, you can just go into the menu and click respawn, which will put you back at the main entrance to your world. Or if you're not stuck, you can simply jump back up to the top level of your world. So now, however many rock seeds you were able to gather, plant that same amount of dirt seeds down on the ground, and then on top of those dirt seeds, plant the rock seeds that you just gathered. This will make grass trees, and now the farming begins. Once your grass trees grow, you want to punch and harvest them. After you harvest them, place all of the grass blocks that you got down on the ground and break them. You should now have more seeds than you had before. Now replant all the grass seeds that you have and keep repeating the process of planting, harvesting, and breaking to get more seeds. You want to do this until you have 200 seeds. Seeds must be planted on a surface, but blocks can be placed in any open space. So a trick to save space while you're farming your grass is to plant the seeds on the ground, but place the grass blocks above the seeds. That way you don't run out of space and you can break the grass blocks while you're waiting for the seeds to grow. After you get 200 grass seeds, it's time to sell them for a world lock. So go into the menu and click exit world and then go to the world buy grass. Then walk either right or left and it will teleport you to the world Steve. Why it's called Steve? Perhaps somebody named Steve bought the world buy grass and then teleported everybody to his own world? I'm not sure the reason, but whatever it is, the world Steve is now the world where people buy and sell grass. So you're in the right place. So now you want to go into the chat and type the words sell grass seed 200 slash one, which means you're selling 200 grass seed for one world lock. You may have to repeat this message a few times for somebody to finally want to trade with you, but eventually you will get a message that says somebody wants to trade. You can then either type slash trade followed by the player's name, or you can click your wrench icon and then find that player in the world and click their wrench icon and then click trade. What you want to do is then click on the 200 grass seeds that you have in your inventory and place them in the trading area. Then wait for the other player to place one world lock in their trading area and then click accept. After you both click accept, a final prompt will come up showing you both what the final trade will be. Make sure that you look at this final trade and that the player didn't change what they were trading to you. So it should say that you will receive one world lock for the 200 grass seed that you're trading. If it does say that, then you can click accept one more time. And congratulations, you just received your very first world lock in Grotopia. Now you can actually exit this world and go back to the world you created and place your world lock down. Once you have your world lock placed, you now have a world that no one else can build or destroy blocks in unless you choose to let them. You could now build a farming world to make even more world locks, or you could do anything else you desire with your new locked world. For now though, I would recommend leaving your world entrance closed up with the dirt surrounding it and the two doors. Because even though no one can build or destroy in your world, they can still pick up any loose items that are on the ground. And if you plan on farming in the world, chances are you're going to have loose items there when you're harvesting your trees. And you don't want people to be able to warp into your world and then start gathering up all your hard earned items. Congratulations again on your first world lock and good luck with your adventures in Grotopia. I'm actually gonna put a circle with my picture on it right in the middle of the screen right there. And if you enjoyed this video or if it helped you out, it would be super awesome if you could click that circle and click subscribe. That way you can find out about my future videos. I'm also gonna put a link to one of my other videos in the corner of the screen, so feel free to check that out. Thanks again for watching everyone. And until my next video, I'm Bald Guy Ace, reminding you to embrace the baldness.